more. Uh, I, I gotta work out more. Uh, finally, somewhere to sit and read around here. The Lions of Africa, where danger lies everywhere. They're on the hunt, looking for their prey. Crouching. I'm on the edge of my seat, quite literally. Um, Barbie, do you remember what we were going to do today? 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 Hmm, it's at the tip of my mind. You're literally sitting on it, Barbie. <laughs> Wait, I got it. I remember now. It is about what I'm sitting on. <laughs> Silly me. My head was really into my book. I completely forgot. Sorry, Tam. I'll just step aside and let you take over. Toodles! Hi, everybody. So this video is a little bit different, um, but I thought it would be a really helpful video. I went to Valley Village. I often go to Valley Village. I love Valley Village. And I saw some pretty cool items that I thought, hey, if I kind of spruce this up a little bit, this would be great to add um, for backdrops or for props for some of the videos that I make. This can also be great for collectors if you want um, some items that aren't too expensive for your dolls. So like for example, this is like a seating chair. It looks pretty good as is, but I'm, it's kind of bothering me that this is like wood and then this, this is like a black. So I could paint these black, but I'm kind of a fan of white. So I'm gonna take a risk here and I'm gonna spray paint the entire item. I hope it goes all right. So wish me luck, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, a little bit more Barbie to the left. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. I am exhausted. This weighs a ton. You are really making me work for it today, Tam. Hey, before you judge Barbie, I've got a great idea for this. Hey guys, so this is the other fun find that I found at Value Village. I found this and I thought, hey, I could make this into a closet. For my dolls. Um, I can make it into a closet for them to put their clothing in there. I was kind of like, okay, it's looking kind of old and it's got that old wood color. So maybe I could like give it a fresh paint. So I'm going to paint this. Hopefully it goes really well. I have no idea. I don't usually paint. I don't usually upgrade something, but I thought this would be a fun project and we have you guys some ideas of that you could find doll furniture and spruce them up and you're saving quite a bit of money because sometimes buying items can get pretty pricey. So, wish me luck. Hmm. Okay, I'm starting to get the bigger picture here. You're gonna spruce this up, give it a paint job, and I'm gonna have a fantastic new closet. You are one smart cookie. So this is the last item I found at Value Village. You can see the potential with this item. It's pretty cheap, maybe about $5.99. It's got some chip paint. Um, I kind of like this design. It's beautiful. And I have an idea for this for my collector items. I'm thinking like a bathroom scene with a shower curtain, um, maybe a bathtub here. So. I want to give it a bit of a spruce up. There's some chip paint, so I'm going to spray paint this white because I'm a fan of white. And we'll see how it goes. A new bathroom for me? Don't worry, Barbie. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to look fantastic. It's going to blow your mind. I'm so excited.
is ta-da! Wow. That actually looks pretty nice. I'm actually glad I took the risk and spray painted this. Thinking to add to this chair maybe like a large pillow that she could sit on. So I've got some I've got some fabric here. It's kind of like soft in the inside. Okay, so to measure, I'm just taking a piece here. I think I'm gonna cut about that length. So I cut two pieces in that length. So you're gonna take your good side of each fabric and put them together like this. And you're gonna sew along here up to there and then you're just going to leave this open. about comfort to the max. I finally have somewhere to sit and read and relax. <sighs> I am done for the day. If you need me, I'm gonna be right here in this spot. Ta-da! So this is the finished product, guys. I spray painted the entire thing. I think I put about two coatings. So I sprayed it once, let it dry, and then did it a second time round. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So I have a bathtub. You can just place it right in there like that. So I'm going to show you how to make a shower curtain with this. I bought this at Yisk. It's a kind of a plastic. It's um, got, they've got different prints at their store. I bought this one. So you're basically going to make a shower curtain with this. It's really simple, really easy. First, you need a marker. So you're going to begin by using your marker to just make a marking, like so. Just keep marking till you get right to the end. And then what we're going to do is, when we're done, is we're going to use our hole puncher to make the holes on those markings. going to just push it through like this. Like that. And there you go. You have your 
shower curtain cute you could do another um, shower curtain on this side so you could have two or just the one so I found these. I really like them because they look like little miniature towels. I think I found them in the baby section at the store. You can put them up here and stack them like this. I think that looks really cute. Or you could have a little shelf to put some towels on the side. So that's an option as well. As well as you could use the towel to hang over on the side of the bathtub just for aesthetics or you can also use it for like a bath mat for when your doll comes out of the bath so yeah somebody looks like they're chillaxing <laughs> a girl needs her privacy hello i just love my new bathroom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. after all that hard work i deserve to relax You could also add a different um, sheet and this is how it looks with the second option. I think this looks really really great. Ta -da! So here is the end result guys. I am loving it. I think it looks brighter. I'm gonna add a dowel here and one at the top. I basically used a skewer, I painted it, and I just slid it in like this. You can glue it um, to keep it in place. And this is where the hangers are gonna go for the clothes for the dolls. Okay guys, so there it is. I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own hangers with paper clips to hang your own doll clothes. It's really easy. I saw this on My Froggy Stuff. She has a YouTube channel. She's got great tips. She does this way better than I do, but let's, um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so you're basically, you're gonna lift up the smaller piece here like this. And then you're gonna lift the other side. Yeah, this side up. So it's gonna be like in a triangular shape like this. And then you're gonna lift that little piece straight pointing up. This is where it gets a little tricky. She does this all by hand. I usually need a tool because it starts to get a bit crooked right about here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna grab my tool here and I just take the end and I just try to create a little curve on the end. Yeah, like so. So I think I'm almost satisfied with my shape here. Yeah, like I said, she does it way better than I do, but you just keep uh, fiddling with it until you get it to the way that you want. them up like that you can put different colors I really like these little um, space prints they're super cute you can also do like metal ones but I found some of the clothes would fall off it's more slippery than these ones but uh, you can still make them and some clothes do hang very well on them so as you can see you can put skirts like this you can put t-shirts it's really easy that stays on very well and you can put dresses um, but like I said these metal hooks um, sometimes fall off so just kind of check to make sure and it even works with pants <gasps> It's so beautiful! Wow! Best closet makeover ever! I love it so much! It looks brighter and better! And you, Tam, are a genius! 
Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. I can't wait to see what kind of creations you come up with. Some of the items you find for your collector dolls. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in my next video.